G'day patrons. Just so I'll give you a bit of a recap of a couple of the jobs I knocked off over the weekend. So you guys might remember the green IBC netted compost cage down beside the um, side gate here. Well, that's no more. Instead, we have one of the inserts from the um, earthen beds I got from Paul. Um, they're the aquaponic grow beds that I've turned into the turmeric bed and ginger down the back. That one's got holes in the base that allows water to come up for the soil. So um, I've just put a little bit of shake cloth down the bottom and popped in the compost. I've already used a, a little bit of it, just screened it out for other projects that you'll see later in the week. With the, uh, the remaining timber, um, I've just rested it against the fence. The reason being is we get eastern browns here and Mayor and I think we found a skin of one under, um, oh actually behind the aquaponics when we were doing the shade cloth the other day. So just resting against the fence I can actually see what's behind it. Um, down in here I've got all the fine twigs in this container and we'll use that uh, in the little brazier out the back come winter. And I wanted to show you these guys. This is a uh, bit of a pest that we have here. It's an asparagus weed. Um, it's pretty invasive. It sends out runners and then another little crown like this and then runners. I'm not too sure if it's related to the um, asparagus we eat. I'm fairly sure it is. And there's another similar one to this. I don't know if it's this one when it gets more mature or another variety. It'll send up vines as thick as my finger with little um, spikes on it. So it's a real pain. It'll climb to the top of a 10 meter tree. No worries whatsoever if given the opportunity. So I uh, dug as much of that out of there as I could. And that's my little um, landscaping feet. Just using small branches from the tree. I um, made some little pegs out of the smaller branches. Drove them in the ground to create a retaining wall and just put all the um, mulched up calistamine in there. Hopefully that'll suppress the other weeds, but I do know there is um, one um, asparagus vine just under the edge of the wicking bed I couldn't get out. Uh, the wicking bed has the moringa in it, a couple of pretty flowers, just the um, amaranth down the bottom there and the yellow flower just there. And I also noticed up the top, I have a lonely seed pod on my moringa. So, I'm not sure when this thing actually set. I'll just zoom in for you. I'm not actually sure when this thing set. Um, it was probably a week or two ago and I've just missed it. But we're going to have our own seed. So I will start off my own seeds. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. See if I can zoom out without zooming in again. There we go. Down next to the bed, I've done the same thing. Used some cinder blocks or besser bricks over the back with some treated hardwood just near the fish tank to hold it all in. A little bit of a retaining wall down the front. And I found a turmeric down here. I don't know if it um, missed the compost bin when it was here. And I've just set it back a bit so I can see the overflow from that wicking bed. So, yeah, uh, I've done a few bits and pieces in there with some strawberries. Sewed out some bits and pieces in there. Removed the amaranth. Uh, but what I wanted to show you down the back was what Maya Bianca, sorry, Bianca, Kira, and I got up to. Some um, Queensland arrowroot I need to put in a compost cage. We removed a lot of the bricks or the pavers from this area down here. So we've just got them set up against the, um, the uh, grow bed, um, wicking bed. That wicking bed's coming out by the way at some point. So um, yeah it was pretty easy to do. I put a little bit of cardboard just on the back of the um, trolley so the pavers didn't fall out between the um, edges. Geez Lizzie do you want to play ball? Uh, she doesn't know it, but we're going for a W-A-L-K after this. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the um, length of the chicken coop will be from that paver there, roughly, to that paver there. Um, north is that direction, so I'm going to have the tin set up here. And because we also get our rain from that side as well, so I want to keep the girls nice and warm. And that will hopefully keep them... Um, during winter they'll get a little bit warmer. Uh, through summer they're probably going to end up getting a little bit hot. So what I'm planning on doing is just beside it, just round about here, is growing the uh, dwarf mulberry. I'm not too sure whether I'll do it in a wicking bed or not yet, we'll just wait and see. But um, have a, the dwarf mulberry set up there so it'll grow over the top of the chicken coop. Um, and then because they're deciduous during winter the leaves will fall and yeah they'll be able to get nice and toasty. I think she's an addict, folks. She needs counselling. Um, but yeah, uh, so the tin's probably only going to go from there. 
and then the rest of it will be one panel of the um, chicken, uh, the school fencing we used for the last pen. Won't actually be as long as the last pen. I think it was a bit of overkill. And then um, the length of the pen will be from basically here all the way down to two rows of pavers in. So we got one there and another one there so we're going to um, lift those guys up I just left them there for now because I need to put a little bit of a border down there and this will be their day pen so for three chickens that's a fairly sizable day pen three is all we can have here by law by the way um, so if we had quails we could have um, hundreds apparently there's no restrictions but yeah just with chickens which is what we want um, yeah we can only have the three these beds, Bianca and I were talking about it, um, and we might be better off just um, scattering it over the ground here and then uh, growing out um, some sort of greens crop over the top before we get the girls and then just letting them have at it. Um, I'm sort of liking that idea. Um, that way, the you know, these, these beds basically, they haven't been fed up in so long um, and we'll be able to get a, a little bit of a crop out. Obviously, I need to lift up my weed mat down here. Some of the meat, weed mat is actually old chicken feed bags that um, Kira was saving all the worms, compost worms she found under them and put them out into the garden. I'm going to try and leave this marigold because I like the splash of colour they give. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all um, what we got up to yesterday and today. And of course I'll be saving all this weed mat because I can use it in other beds. It was brand new when I laid it down. Excuse Lizzie. Lizzie, excuse sweetie. It was brand <laughs> it was brand new when I laid it down. So I'll be able to use it in the base of wicking beds or something like that. And that's the soil underneath. So there you go, just a little bit of a um a look. Oh, and I've also set up the other um, compost bin just through there. So all the scraps from in there will be going into that compost bin except for the tree trimmings because I want this to be a proper tree mulch compost. All I've done is just thrown them over the top um, just to give you a bit of a look. Um, this stuff is breaking down nicely. Oh, I get a handful of it. So yeah, it's, it's not super fast. Like I suppose if I turned it, it would um, be breaking down quicker. But all I want is like a nice leaf mold compost just to go over the top of, um, of garden bed. So Bianca said, oh, she saw compost worms in there. Yeah, I just found one there. So they're already in there doing their thing. Also, it looks like there's ants in there as well, but I'm not too worried about ants. Um, they are also composters. So anyway, the battery's about to go flat, so I suppose I should probably sign off and take someone for a WALK. Actually, watch this. Um, Lizzie, Lizzie, wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Should we go for a walk? What do you reckon? Oh, picks up her toys, packs them away. She's a very good dog. And she'll run up into the house and grab a harness ready for us to um, snap on her and go for a walk. Go for a walk. Walkies, where's your harness? Go on, you go up and get ready. <laughs> She's a card. Anyway, I better put this away before I go. Oh, and the amaranth. I saved the amaranth. Um, I'm just gonna shake all the seeds out of that and collect as much as I can. Anyway, I'm going to let you folks go and put that amaranth undercover and pack up the shredder or the mulcher and I'll catch you folks online. Cheers. I've just come upstairs <laughs> to find this. We're going for a walk, are we? We're going for a walk? She loves taking herself for a walk. We've got to put a harness on. Cheers, guys.